Hello. Very short intro. I'm a little bit sick. Uh, so yeah, if you're background noise, my windows open. So first, the new alpha update in HVVR. Cool, isn't it? As you can see here, and the uh... <laughs> I forgot the fact that this thing was called the proving ground. Anyway, so there's a new update coming soon slash already in the alpha branch. Uh, a quick, I'm just gonna give you a quick gloss over over the new features. So you now can grip these handles on most guns. For example, this is the Bren. I was too lazy to spawn a new one. And I just knocked off the M16, I believe. Whatever that thing is, it's one of the M carabine things. Okay, so for, you can now attach bayonets to weapons with bayonet compatible slots. And well, you can stab so six with that. Ignore the fact that there's three floating butterfly knives there. Uh, I was trying to make another joke, but like, it didn't quite work. So you can now stab so six. With bayonets. Um, the funny thing is, if you stab him, like all the way to the brim, like this, then shoot, the bullets go straight through them. Anton, please fix. Okay, so that's, uh, I wonder if I can knock them down. Yeah, I can. That was pretty satisfying, actually. Yeah, let's eat that away as well. Uh, it also works with different weapons. Well, this is an AK bayonet. Uh, most of these new things aren't in the item spawner yet, they're only here in the uh, proving... Whatever it's called again, proving grounds, I believe. It looks pretty badass, I'm gonna be honest. Well, yeah. Actually, I'm just gonna keep the AK now. Um, I have no idea how you're... Uh, take the bayonet off again, oh, this. That, that's how I believe. Yeah, I mean, I can... I can no, that's... They can grab a battle. Oh yeah. Well, that was fucking complicated. So these are uh, muzzle brakes, compensators, whatever it's called again. So these things, when attached on a gun, I'm just gonna take that off again. I'm gonna show you the uh, recoil. I'm just gonna stand on this line. See that gradually goes up. I still have my traces on five seconds. It's actually pretty cool, good for this use. Let's just take this thing. Uh, I've got nothing that shows bullet holes, sadly. That's kind of kind of sad, but like, if I do it in a. <laughs> exactly now I'm out of ammo, but you know it uh, reduces the recoil. So yeah, that's all these things do. Uh, bayonets now for the World War World War Two guns, for example, for the M1 M2 carabines. It's a bit slim one, <laughs> I wonder. Uh, I think this is the SKS. I'm no gun expert, even though I've played this game like so long. This is uh, the same one, but longer, I believe. It looks pretty similar, but it's way longer. For the M1 Garant, that's my uh, lines coming up. It's actually, that doesn't really fit on the gun. Uh, for the SVT, I think this is, SVD-40, something like that, uh, that's like the AK-1. Oh yeah, this is uh, <laughs> the next part, this is a car, uh, this is a Karabiner 98 Kurz, you all know it as a Car 89, 98K, 89, I'm too German for this shit. Um, don't question why I'm doing that, because now there's scopes for the uh, bolt-action World War II rifles, as you can see here. Uh, and if you want to know why I took these off, uh, you can't load these things with stripper clips, because they will technically just bounce there. So yeah, I have no more so six in my area left, so let's just clear them and spawn some new ones. That's always a fun part. These videos spawning so six and then fucking them up. It's just see, uh, that cartridge just got stuck there. I hope it's not something that happened in the old ones as well. What's this? It was a suppressor, aren't they? Wait, uh, you can tell me that I can put a suppressor on this thing. Oh, I can. Ooh, I can go full sneaky mode. 
if you would hit that thing that is, and I forgot to twist that onto it. Wait, did I just... No, I, I did. I forgot to twist that on. No worries. Let's just twist that on. Now you can go full sneaky mode while also living your dreams of being a World War II sniper. Yeah, you get, you get the deal. And that exists for both of these guns and also the... Uh, the thing I only know from Battlefield 5, uh, Commander Kerbin. Where the fuck does this attach? Oh, there. This is uh, <laughs> a really slim scope. Gosh. I don't think that's healthy. Why didn't these two things attach? I'm just not gonna question that. This, are these. Mm, oh, they're longer. I don't need those. Just load them in. Let's try a different uh, suppressor. Okay, that's locked. I believe that's. I believe that's for safety off, and let's see if I can actually see anything through this scope. Oh yeah, there I can. Well, that took some trial and error. Well, this field of view for this scope is uh, very bad. Oh, my voice just fucking died. <laughs> Uh, these are the new Mosin variants, like this is the sniper one, where you can also, I think, put a scope on. Yeah, you see? Then you can uh, live out your dreams to become the new Simo Heche, although he only used iron sights, so uh, there's that. <laughs> but you can, like, be a sniper with a Mosin. Uh, I think this is the standard one. This is the original, if it gets out of the goddamn thing. Say this one's longer and doesn't have that weird hole in it. Uh, this is a new, another type of bayonet. Uh, this is a long triangular one. You know these memes where triangular bayonet wounds are impossible to stitch up? Well, yeah. Here you go. And I do believe that uh, these are the ones that you can put in anything that's got a muzzle uh, attachment slot. So if I technically had like this... Uh, M1 or M16 or I, I don't know I get confused all the time. I should be able to plop that on here Oh, yeah, look at that. I now have a, a classical bayonet on a modern modern gun like If only I could also stab with that thing because I uh, blatantly suck well, That's going in. Um, I, I don't think that's supposed to happen I'm just gonna hope that um Nobody saw that. Uh, -huh. uh let's let's try that on a pistol, like let's do it on something that would actually fit the style kinda of well. Oh gosh. This doesn't feel right, you know. A bayonet on a deagle, and that clips through the thing. That's kinda of funny, I guess. But I don't think that's supposed to happen, Anton, please fix. Stab. Okay, I had I have had enough fun with that stuff now. Enough that so sigs for the next twenty seconds. This is uh, the commando carabine. I only know that thing from Battlefield Five. It uses. <coughs> Sorry about that. It uses a modified nineteen eleven thing, and that's a, that's the huge ass integrated silencer. So this thing is insanely quiet if you shoot it. Uh, actually can't tell if that's quieter or not. Let's just try a uh, normal 1911. Should be around here somewhere, there we go. That's a 1911 classic. Uh, let's try that out with a normal suppressor as well, just to have a little comparison. For the modern suppressor, I really like this one for some reason. It doesn't look right. <laughs> okay, so we have the Commando Carabine with a 1911 bullets and a 1911 with a suppressor. So let's try that out. My aim is really good today, you know. That one went. So that's the normal. So now let's try it with our suppressor. With a suppressor.
I think that's about the same. It might be a little bit quieter. Also, these jiggle bones now work, and that's really funny. Well, uh, this is, I think that's another type of bayonet, that's a round one. Looks really cool, I guess. And these are new... Uh... Whatever that gun is again. <laughs> Variants. Uh... uh Lee Enfield, I think. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm really not in the best of shapes today. So these things now have attachable and detachable magazines. Get away from me, you orbs. And you can also put a scope on them. Pretty cool with the magazines, I'm gonna be honest. I am I think I'm gonna need that later again. <laughs> so like, you know how to scope as well? I don't have any so six to shoot at. So I think this is the normal version of that. Uh, I'm just gonna keep the scope in there. This is the uh, jungle warfare thing, which is shorter and has uh, a different muzzle slash hider thing. The abreast version, which is probably gonna be found in the same pistol tab as the Mosin Abreast and the Psycho, Saco, whatever it's called again. Abreast, which is... <laughs> is <laughs> Look at it! Look at it in comparison of a normal one, it's so cute! But it's fully functional, that's all that matters. Well, if I took the... Uh... If I took the safety off, that is. <laughs> And it's empty. No, it's not. I just... I hate the fact that you need to put this thing all the way down. With the other bolt action, it works. You just slightly tilt it. And also need the magazine again. Because this is like... Some kind of Spec Ops variant with... An even bigger integrated suppressor. Let's see, who has got the bigger suppressor? You decide for yourself. This one's longer, but this one's thicker. Uh... Have I loaded that thing now? Well, now I definitely have. <laughs> Let's try that out. Uh, how am I supposed to aim? I think like this. Yeah, that's pretty quiet, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that's the new update. Uh, in a quick quick revamp in case you don't want to watch Anton's video because this is technically exactly the same thing just like in a different style you know less technical and more fun oriented I would love the fact that most of these things would have been in the item spawner but so far I don't think any of them really are that's a fucking crow just screaming outside of my room goddamn you know what I'm going to do next video? I'm going to test out the bayonets. But, until then, goodbye. I just need something to drop. Now I can say goodbye.